We are going to watch the royalty family, YouTube's scummiest household. Whoa. The royalty family, YouTube's scummiest household. They've amassed over 20 million subscribers by spoiling Whoa. their kids beyond comprehension and lying about everything from their family history to their house being broken into. Oh. This is all while concealing an extremely controversial past by instead publicizing their modern stressful moments like not knowing which mansion to buy. The family of three created their- That's a crazy flex right there, bro. How are you even mad at him? Dude, sound like he don't get your money up, Sonny V2. What you mad at him for? What you mad at him for? Channel back in 2017. And with a name like the royalty family, it should come as no surprise that materialism and self-image is their entire identity. Ooh. Their early videos featured them wearing shirts stating King, Queen, and Prince, titles which they also unironically used during the interview segments, while the dogs wore Louis Vuitton clothing and went by the names of Princessa and Gucci. Ooh. They began to blow up with videos where the parents spend stupid amounts of money on their son, such as eight-year-old takes parents' credit card, no budget at mall, and parents can't say no for 24 hours, with these kinds of unrealistic videos understandably annoying parents. I'm be like... <laughs> <laughs> what? I was gonna say some real crazy shit, but then I forgot it was like their mom, bro. <laughs> you can't say no for 24 hours, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. I walked in and watched a segment of a video from the royalty family channel, and it was so terrible. First, everyone on it had an unwatchable personality, but the real disgust was how materialistic slash money obsessed the whole family is. Mm. I feel like the parents just pimp their annoying kid out for likes and views, and it's amplified when the kid has zero talent or personality. Damn. The parents responded by simply stating that their son wasn't spoiled without providing any actual evidence. A lot of people talking about him being spoiled. He's a spoiled brat. He gets what he wants. Honestly, it's just ridiculous. Before making the argument that they work hard so their son can have anything. And we work our butts off to give things to our kids that we never had growing up. Which is literally mm. the definition of being spoiled. Despite the backlash. But, but again, that's not really like a bad thing. Like, I think everybody would want to be spoiled. You know what I mean? Does it lead to like bad habits and whatnot and all that bullshit and you're no low no other shit. yeah but like still what's what's the problem i'm gonna spoil my kids when i grow up the royalty family gained a million subscribers after only one year on youtube i said when i grow up like i'm not already grown i can have seven kids right now who gonna stop me who gonna stop me i'm about to have a fucking empire i'm gonna spoil them all sorry growth in income also came a growth in flexing highlighted perfectly by cody co the kid is wearing fendi shorts dior socks and yeezys the dad is wearing a gucci shirt gucci shirt shorts and a Gucci bag. Mm -hmm. it's like, I guess why it bothers me is because like the motive is very clear. It's like, we're not doing this for family. We're doing this for money. Our yeah, no old son finally got his lamb. No shit, d face. Like, what are we talking about? This is like the stupidest. Why do you, why do I motherfucker start YouTube channels? Like, oh, you trying to get fucking clout. You trying to get some fucking money, dickhead. That's the end game, motherfucker. Like, what are we talking about here? Well, I mean, hmm. Well, I, I started YouTube because I enjoyed it and then money came. But still, that's besides the point, motherfucker. Money is like a plus. You get to spoil people when you have money. Exactly, bro. Like, what are we talking about? About. Gini, his dream came true. While these videos are nothing more than clickbait garbage, it's probably not ideal to raise a kid in an unbounded materialistic environment. You can go to any stores you want. Ooh, now hold on. I can understand using your kid for clout. That's kind of fucked. And then and then your whole kid gets fucked up due to that, all the scrutiny that ooh, hold on now, bro. I wouldn't put my kid under that. Farhan, all those stores that you want to go to, you can go to any store. Did I stutter? However, when these are clearly the value. Did I stutter? Camera goes off. Now get the fuck in the car, bitch. F you talking about? Did you do your homework, little mother? F I'm gonna beat you when we get home, bitch. I'm gonna beat your ass. Like, <laughs> stop. I'm just saying, YouTubers are mad fake, bro. Look at them. Do you remember? Remember that one girl that was like, "Oh my God, my dog is my best friend." And then like, there's a video that came out of her just beating the fuck out the dog. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, it could it could happen with the kid. No? Okay, I'll stop. Sorry. Values held by the parents, it's not like the kid has a choice. The parents likely justify the kid's involvement by thinking that it'll be set for life afterwards. Although in doing so, they're raising him with an entitled, unlikable attitude. You said you don't want it? No, because two back seats. Oh, you don't want back seats. No. At the same time, however, you could make the argument that the family was simply making what the audience wanted to watch, True. as the video spoiling the sun almost always gained the most views. Views. Throwing a dart on a map and buying whatever it lands on, 15 million views. Buying everything I touch blindfolded challenge, 11 million views. If you guess the price, I'll buy it for you challenge, Damn. 24 million views. Pulling these kinds of numbers, they were missing only one thing to complete their terrible family.
Family Channel arc, a mega mansion. Although in order to justify buying one, they'd first stage a video at their existing house, claiming that fans were showing up and pestering them. The premise of the oh. video is that fans were outside of the house taking photos of the family. Come check this out, like look at this guy. This is like the fifth time I've seen him, look at this. Can you believe this? After which Ali goes outside to confront them, resulting in quite possibly the fakest interaction on YouTube. Hey bro, why are you taking pictures of my house? Hey bro, why are you taking pictures of my house? I love the show, bro. You think that's cool, bro? Rolling up in your Prius, you think you're cool? Dude, I'm a fan, bro. Yeah, so cool you, bro. I did a shout out. Very classy, very classy hey, both of you I guys. Know. Diesel Patches dissected this little segment with some pretty funny commentary. Well, I'm a fan. Excuse me if I'm having a hard time believing that grown ass truck drivers are fans of a family vlogging child's kid channel. After confronting the apparent fans, Ali supposedly called What the fuck? The police, after which an officer showed up who was also more than likely an actor, with the whole situation being so traumatizing that the family was apparently unable to sleep that night. Guys, let, let's try to forget about what happened. We can get through this as a family. We're here for each other. We're strong. However, when they'd upload another video the following day titled, We Have Bad News, Guess What? It became pretty obvious as to why they'd staged the confrontation. The family used the fake incident to claim that they now needed a bigger house. With that being said, we have exciting news for you guys. Yeah, we're gonna move out, guys. Of course, never missing a chance to reinforce their materialism. <laughs> <laughs> they stage that shit. So, yo, that is some funny shit, bro. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't even be mad at it, bro. They're finessing out here, I guess. What the fuck? What kind of house do you want? I want a big and modern house. I want a modern house. I'm a, I'm a big fan of modern house. You know that. You guys, we deserve a nice house. We deserve a house with a pool. I don't know. Let's, let's, go, let's go look around. And also, I want a nice view. Within only 10 days, the royalty family had supposedly bought their dream mansion. However, only eight months after this, the family was being evicted. Oh. So basically, guys, this is a 60-day notice to terminate the tennis <laughs> which means we gotta leave the royalty palace in two months. Showing that they never owned the house in the first place. The royalty family then moved to a new property where they'd take the chance to stage yet another fake video titled Somebody Broke Into Our New Home Live Camera. Holy we just shit. got news that someone broke into our new house. As you guys know, we just bought a new house the new royalty palace. After stating that their new house was being broken into, Ali decided he didn't want to call the cops for the strangest reason. I'm honestly not cool with calling cops on, on homeless people or whatever. I don't know if it's a homeless, huh? homeless person or not. And he therefore decided to go and confront the trespasser himself. I'm serious. He then shows crystal clear security camera footage of the break-in where the person clearly climbs over the fence. However, when Ali and his friend then show up at the house, they state that the intruder had instead gone through the gate. So ladies Ladies and gentlemen, that was the gate that someone came through. Oh, it's still open. You see? It's still open. When they find the intruder staying in the back house, he gives a long sob story about how he's got nowhere else to go, leading Ali to become the hero by giving him a bunch of money. So this guy what is the telling fuck? me that he lost his job and he's got nowhere to stay. I don't want him to stay on the streets. I can't be selfish. Uh, I'm gonna give you some cash, but I'm gonna need you to leave, all right? The video ends with Ali framing himself as a super compassionate person. I truly feel What bad. a nice like, guy. You know, people are going through a rough time right now. Although hilariously, only four months later, their house was actually broken broken into by an intruder, during which they gave a completely different reaction. <laughs> While during the fake invasion, Ali was so kind he didn't even call the cops, the real invasion instead began like this. Hey, can I help you, bro? But what made you think it was cool to come here? Call the cops. Call the cops. <laughs> Get that that thug out of here! Get the out of here, motherfucker! Call the cops on his bitch ass! Fuck he doing in my property, in my fucking household! Don't step on my goddamn grass either! I just got that shit new! That's brand new Kentucky blue grass, bitch! Get your dirty feet off my motherfucking grass! Don't step on the petunias on your way out, motherfucker! 911. Are you serious, bro? Going to people's homes and sleeping in the back? Are you serious? Call the cops. After the intruder was escorted off the property, the family didn't offer him any money to go get a hotel and instead brought three what police officers. <laughs> what if dude just watched a YouTube video and like, wow, they're so nice and compassionate. Let me go crash at their place. Maybe they'll help me out. You know what I mean? <laughs> and woke up to get the f 
off my property. <laughs> Officers to investigate the now empty scene, which is pretty funny when compared to the first fake video. However, it would then become apparent that on top of faking their videos, they were also lying about their own history oh. as the family's extremely shady past began to get exposed brutally. I'm only staring on the at your titties right now. 2021, the royalty family uploaded a video titled <gasps> I'm Not Ferran's Father, Truth Revealed, in which they explained that the son was actually from the mother's previous marriage. He <laughs> making this a video is great. Oh, look, yo. <laughs> I know what I'm doing when I'm getting older. Just know, buddy. Okay. Hey, it's adoption time, bitch. Okay. And trust and believe I'm, I'm clickbaiting the fuck out of that. I'm not the daddy. <laughs> oh my God. YouTube video about to go crazy. And Ali was there for his stepdad. I met Farah when he was three years old. I'm not his biological dad, but I consider myself as his dad. I love him to death. He's amazing. He's like my son. I treat him like my son. After mentioning that Ali wasn't Farah's actual dad, the biological father came out of nowhere, oh. creating a go fund me titled help me see my son king Ferran from royalty family which explained the mother andrea from youtube channel the royalty family has not allowed the biological father pierre lepin to see or talk to his son Ferran lepin for more than four years and both the child and father have the same right in addition to the child is exploited and manipulated in social networks without the authorization of the father Whoa. which was followed by the biological dad appearing on the dad challenge podcast where he'd spend over an hour completely exposing the family in the royal family video mentioned prior oh, the mother explained that she'd come to america to work as a tv host i came here for work as you know i'm a tv host <laughs> although what she failed to mention was that she'd fled from her life in colombia as an adult film star where she'd gotten into trouble with some <clears throat> uh names names uh links any links uh research purposes just kind of curious you know what i mean uh bookmark it for later send it to my twitter dms thank you here's the rent Monkey. Uh, yeah just send, send it to my my twitter dms thank you kenji chill uh no i'm, I'm chill bro i'm i'm relaxed and i'm chilling uh, Twitter DMs are open now. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> research, of course. I just, I'm just going to want to do some further research. I can't take everybody's word for it, so I need to make sure that uh, I know it's correct resource. You know what I mean? Pretty scary people. Uh, she wants to get out from Colombia because she have a lot of uh, drug dealers that are uh, bothering, bothering. On top of this, Ferran had told a nice story about how Ali and his mother had met. I remember we met in a little restaurant and then we ate and then from that day we just had a lot of fun although in all actuality the mother began cheating on her former husband after her and ali met in a gym oh. they say that they meet in the restaurant like a perfect moment you know the, there's a bunch of liars about how she's just met. lying yeah wow after the biological father confronted andrea about her cheating things got even crazier while i'm driving she crashed my car she jumped out of her car went to my window she broke the window the police came Take it Holy to shit. Which was then followed by a confrontation in person before the family retaliated by spray painting the biological dad's car. Oh, when the father shit. returned to the Dad Challenge podcast three months later, he'd claimed that Andrea's entire life was a show for the camera. Where she show in the in the video that she is cooking, it's fake. Mm -hmm. It's all fake. fake. What we found out is that she yeah. is not present in their lives at all. She is a greedy, disgusting, selfish woman. Oh. Ali and her, they are married, but it is a business Marriage. relationship. They hate each other. They fight all the time. And oh. Ali only stays with her because it's money. Damn! I'm gonna be honest. Hey, man, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Anyone trying to get married? I like that toxic shit. Bitch, let's make this money. You know what I mean? We can argue all the time. It'll be fun. I hate you, bitch. But I love you at the same time. Come on, let's get married. No? I right, f*** you then. Look, we got such a good thing going already. We're already doing... Oh, first argument. Isn't that nice? They are in it for money. And on top of everything, Ferran is strictly forbidden from accessing the internet under any circumstances. And this is what we found out as well. Ferran is completely and utterly never allowed on the internet. I don't even Dang. think Ferran knows how famous he is. Ali blocks him from every incoming anything. He's not allowed to have a phone with the internet on it. Ferran is not allowed to go to other people's houses because Ali cannot stop him from looking at the internet. And those Holy kids get shit. on the internet and see a video like this. Yes. It's over for Ali because Ali yes. has kept this all a secret from Ferran That's scary. this whole time. The podcast ended with Ferran's dad breaking down crying, although Andrea and Ali completely manipulated the situation by filming a TikTok in which they'd obviously forced Ferran to state that the biological dad was lying about everything. To be honest, bro, I'm just tired of this, okay? All this lies Aww, that I'm putting bro. out there about my mom and family, it's just like... So tiring, it's like super annoying. Like I've seen all the videos, all that disgusting stuff that he's doing. It's just, it hurts, man, it hurts. 
to know that that's my dad. It's like, it's sad. Somebody please tell him to stop. Bro, you can- That is crazy. Tell the video is scripted just by how the kid talks. In just the last week, Brand's biological- I look in the chat, someone said, damn, his acting sucks. <laughs> Logical dad announced that after four years, he'd gotten a visa and was now in Los Angeles looking for his son. Yet after messaging the mother with the goal of arranging a meeting, she told him to talk to her lawyers who don't respond to the dad's messages. Wow. Meanwhile, the royalty family's views haven't slowed down one bit. Although something deep down feels like over the long run, this channel will end in complete disaster. Wow. Disaster. Whoa, that's crazy, dude. Hold on, I'm gonna go do some research fuck that royalty family i'm kind of what the fuck holy shit dude they got views 3.5 million mom tries to find her daughter blindfolded damn the little one's already getting replaced <laughs> yo the kids already getting fucking replaced they said, all right, bitch, on to the next. Come on, we used you enough. <laughs> the funny got a daughter now. Three-year-old transforming our son into a real firefighter. Unboxing $50,000. Holy shit, dude. Holy. And all these have millions of views. I want to watch one, bro. So our 13-year-old son has been asking for a sleepover lately. Can I have a sleepover already? And now that he just turned 13 years old, we decided. Why not? So we invited seven of his best friends to have the most epic sleepover. Hey, guys, chill, chill. Are you like, ready for your sleepover? Yes, I'm ready. Now you're 13 years old. You're amazing. It's like Mr. Beast. It's too hyper. Oh my God. It's like Mr. Beast, but like a family friendly channel. You know, oh, he's fucking fine. But like with kids, you know what I mean? Like a parent. That's so weird. This is so weird. I don't like this. All right, they're here. Open the door. Open the door. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. Sleepover. Sleepover. I thought it was only seven, but there's more. There are like 20 of them. Oh my God, this is gonna be a long day. A disaster. We got this, we got this, come on. All right, now we gotta go pick your sleeping spots, all right? But make sure you go around the house quietly because there's a baby sleeping, all right? Quietly. The fuck? Why go the fuck? Sleeping. This bitch got a, look at her nails. She's like fucking 12. Nails, makeup, everything. And then look, 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 look. But make sure you go around the house quietly. What the fuck is going on here, dude? What the fuck is Apple Watch? That, that motherfucker got US. Oh, ooh, okay. That he don't look too grown. Um, they just got him YTs. Damn, it's too much. There's a lot of shit going on. I was going to talk a lot of shit like, damn, these kids is rich too. No, the fuck they not. No, the fuck they not. Okay. <laughs> I thought, I thought they was all. <laughs> this motherfucker got on a gas station white t-shirt. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my face. Y'all know what to do? Yeah! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, guys, I said quietly. I said quietly. I said quietly. This is so crazy. What should we do? You need to take them out of the house right now. Baby Blue is about to wake up and they're super loud. Take them out of the house already? Right now. I have an idea. Oh, you guys, I had no other choice but to get a party bus for the kids. We're gonna go to 7-Eleven, buy a lot of snacks, come back home, and get the sleepover started. Let's go. Hey, man, thank you so much for coming. Hey, man, my pleasure. All right, the kids are ready to come in. All right, let's do it. So before we go to 7-Eleven with the what kids, the I had fuck? to go check up on my wife. Hey, babe, how's it going? What the f- it's, it's only been- I felt like I watched seven YouTube videos. It's only been three minutes, chat. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. And this is so over-edited. It's crazy to me. Like, kids are not gonna have a fucking attention span. The kids that watch this shit are like, yo. 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 <sighs> Bitch, I couldn't even breathe, chat. <laughs> like, was just, what the fuck? My brain exploded. What the fuck did we just I unsubscribed years ago? Dude, you used to watch this shit? Oh my god. It explains explains a lot, bro.